Hi, everyone, and thank you for uh, joining us for our virtual college visit series. Uh, we appreciate you being here today, and we are very fortunate to have Mr. Pete Lindsay with us today um, uh, from St. Bonaventure University, and he is going to share lots of great, valuable information with you all about uh, his wonderful alma mater and university. And uh, while he's going through today's presentation, if you could please hold any questions um, that you have to the end or enter them in the chat throughout the presentation and we'll make sure to get to them um, at the end of today. So thank you so much. And with that, Mr. Lindsay, I'm gonna hand it over to you. Great, thank you so much. Yes, I am a proud alumnus of St. Bonaventure University. Uh, didn't graduate yesterday with my gray hair, obviously graduated in 1971. I still stay in touch with a dozen guys that I graduated with. That's how close we are. Well, St. Bonaventure University, founded in 1858 by the Franciscans, we are a Catholic university welcoming some 2,400 students to the campus from all different uh, forms of uh, all different geographies and uh, different ethnicities and also uh, different religious affiliations. You can see from the campus, we are a green grass campus. We're located in Western New York State, south of Buffalo, New York, about an hour and a half, right on the Pennsylvania, New York State border. We're bounded on either side of the university by two small college towns within walking distance of the university and we back up to the Allegheny foothills and Allegheny River as well. Most importantly, right across the street, there are a number of hotels, but even more important than that, Dunkin' Donuts is right across the street. Some information about St. Bonaventure. I would start with the most important number on this screen, and that is that 97% of our graduates are either employed or in graduate school within six months. How do we get there? I think we get there by focusing on activities outside of the class that really complement and prepare you for your career. And they are 90% of our students are involved in at least two of the following, internships, independent research or study, community service, capstone courses, or study abroad where we have some 30 different countries and 60 different colleges. You can see we have up to almost 100 different majors in, and minors. We've been recognized as an outstanding value by US News, second best in New York State, third best in the North, Princeton Review, top 384 in the country, and Kipner Magazine, top 100 best private university values. Full disclosure, one of the editors is a St. Bonaventure University grad, actually a classmate of mine. You would not want Janet in your class. Janet was a curve breaker, very bright. Here's a quick look at the eight different schools that we have in Bold School of Business, School of Education, et cetera, and some of our combined degree programs and multidisciplinary and special programs on the right side and also some popular minors. And as I mentioned, we have up to almost 100 different majors and uh, different concentrations. What I'd like to do is just highlight very quickly some of the more notable uh, programs at the university. Starting with the School of uh, Arts, biology is our single largest major at the university. Our pre-med program, we have a four plus four dual admission program with George Washington University and they set aside five seats for St. Bonaventure University grads. Similarly, a four plus four dual admission program with Lake Erie College of Osteopathic Medicine, and they set aside 10 seats for St. Bonaventure grads. The perk is that you're exempt from the MCATs if you qualify. Um, you see a, a number of highlighted programs, relatively new behavioral neuroscience, cybersecurity. We are the Center for Cybersecurity in Western New York. We're also one of 10 STEM centers science, technology, engineering, and math STEM center in New York State. The major adventures program called MAP. I know that when I speak with students, many times they're undecided about choice of major. 
Do you realize that about 80% of students change their major or are undecided at some point during your college career? So if that's you, join the club. The Major Adventures Program, affectionately known as MAP, Mapping Your Future, we work with you uh, through an online interest inventory called Focus 2, talk about, meet with career and professional readiness counselors, talk about your profile and career op opportunities and options. And in addition, talk about majors, minors, double majors, because sometimes students say they're undecided, but actually uh, they're forgetting that they can combine different programs. So the Major Adventures Program is for you if you're undecided about choice of major, and we welcome students to look at a variety of options, and you can remain undecided up until about the end of your uh, sophomore year. School of Health Professions, the newest school on campus in the spring, will have a physician's assistant studies program <clears throat> in the fall, an occupational therapy program, and we also round out with some rather unique programs like public health and also a health science uh, as well. The School of Health Sciences really parallels and piggybacks on our strength in pre-med and biology. The School of Business, <clears throat> we are accredited by the Association for the Advancement of Collegiate Schools of Business, AACSB. Only about 5% of the business schools worldwide have that accreditation and validation of the quality. For our accounting students, bachelor's and MBA in five years, and according to masteroffinance.org, we are the ninth best accounting program among universities of 3,000 students or fewer. College Factual ranks our finance program in the top 10% value. School of Mass Communications, one of our flagship programs without question, six Pulitzer Prize winners among our ranks. When you turn on the Today Show, the program sports show called Outside the Lines produced by Bonaventure grads. College Factual ranks our journalism program in the top 50 within the country. Princeton Review ranks our newspaper the 13th best and our radio station, the best college radio station in the country. Some newcomers to the mass communications program, broadcast journalism, media studies, sports media, and video production. A quick aside, Vice President of Marketing Communications for ESPN is a St. Bonaventure University grad, and he gets six press passes to the Super Bowl for our students. A lot of people are his best friend. <clears throat> School of Education, 25th most innovative education program in the country, according to the American Association of Collegiate Teachers of Education. You'll have up to a thousand hours of practicum sessions, even beginning in your freshman year. So we really want to help people, help you as students to prepare for uh, your teaching opportunities after you graduate. <clears throat> Speaking of, over the last uh, 15 years, 100% pass rate on the New York State teacher exam. We recently received a $1.2 million grant to infuse more technology into the education program as well. And in addition to that, there is triple certification available for early childhood, childhood and children with disabilities. <coughs> Again, we take very seriously preparing you for your career. So we offer a six sequence program called EDGE, all in an effort to offer you a competitive edge in the marketplace. So the modules include, you can see them networking, interviewing, personal branding, et cetera. The certificate is uh, usually completed in the junior and senior year at St. Bonaventure. And it's a really great credential to help prepare you for your job and career search. Student life, we are a really active campus. 80% of our students are involved in division one club sports, intramural sports or other recreation activities. We have over 75 clubs and organizations, club sports, 
just a quick run through some opportunities. Photography club, an e-sports club, chess club, astronomy club, ultimate frisbee, a 64 team dodgeball competition and tournament. How about a pie eating contest? Hip hop club, step club, a medical emergency rescue team, a mock trial model UN club and pre-law and pre-med clubs uh, as well and Ultimate Frisbee, just to give you a sense of the possibilities uh, at St. Bonaventure. We also offer a first year experience with a lot of peer coaching uh, from your fellow classmates to help you understand how to do well at St. Bonaventure. And we're very proud of the assistance that we give our first year students. <clears throat> <clears throat> I did mention that we're uh, Division I sports. You can see the 15 different Division I athletic teams that we offer. So if you like the rah-rah, the excitement, the scholarship opportunities of Division I sports, that, and you also want personal, you don't want to be in large lecture halls, that would be us. Frequently D1 sports brings along with it large lecture halls and large universities. Our, Student to faculty ratio is about 12 to one and your class sizes will be about 20 students or so uh, per class. Service is in our DNA. I can't say it any better than that. We really focus on having students be involved in programs that benefit at-risk children, victims of natural disasters, homeless, impoverished people, uh, et cetera. We have a program called Embrace at Africa, where our students go to Uganda, a program called Enactus, where some 50 students each year work with uh, underprivileged and impoverished people at the College of the Bahamas. Um, we have a program called the Bonham Buddies, similar to Big Brother, Big Sister, if you've ever encountered that. In Bonham Buddies, you take on uh, and kind of adopt middle school kids in an effort to develop friendships and serve as role models. One of the things our people did recently is they brought a bunch of middle schoolers to the hockey rink to skate with the college hockey players. Well, that's a pretty big deal if you're a middle schooler as well. Last year, we raised uh, more money than any of the other colleges in the area. Some of our sophomores shaved their heads in order to make that happen. We also have an open mic night at the Rathskeller, where you can sing, dance, do poetry, play guitar, whatever you would like, all in an effort to raise money for cancer. Let's just say, however, that some people should, and others should not be in front of the microphone, but it's all for a good cause. So community service is really an important piece of student life at St. Bonaventure. 75% of our students live on campus, so it's a highly residential population. Freshmen have, uh, four different residence halls to choose from, but you can also find one that is uh, involved in learning communities where we bring students together that have common interests, help develop some friendships, common interests like a floor for environmental, community service, honors high ability students interested in health and wellness, substance free, uh, et cetera. So the freshman residences, you have four opportunities. You can also choose a residents where learning communities would help you develop friendships with uh, students as well. Apartments are available to juniors and seniors. A very important question to all of you students, wanna make sure that you know the answer, is housing guaranteed on campus? At St. Bonaventure, it is guaranteed for four years. Uh, it's an important piece of information you wanna know. While I'm on the guaranteed thought, I also wanna remind you that at St. Bonaventure, when you apply to the university, you will be admitted directly to your chosen major, not just to the university and being required to be involved in and be successful in a lot of what we call weed out courses with a high failure rate in your freshman and sophomore year in order to be uh, admitted to your chosen major. So uh, guaranteed housing on campus, guaranteed admission directly to your major and not just to the university as well. Talked with one student who saw the freshman residence 
we just put about six million dollars into it. And I said, well, what'd you think? He just said, wow. Well, I guess he liked it. Admissions, we are on rolling admission. We recommend that students apply before Thanksgiving, either the Common App or the St. Bonaventure University app. We are test optional. The only exception would be if you're going to be applying for scholarships, we would prefer that you, well, we, we want you to submit uh, standardized test scores. And um, if for some reason that's not possible during the COVID world that we're in right now, uh, we'll handle each case on an individual basis. A brief essay, letter of recommendation from your counselor, and you can also submit an additional recommendation uh, as well. Profile for students, about a 3.3 GPA, 1125 SAT, 23 ACT, and a little bit more information about our students, 25% outside of New York State, largely from the mid-Atlantic areas and 24 different countries. So if you wonder what would life be like at a university of 2,400 students, you get a chance to meet people from 24 different foreign countries. Scholarships, uh, even though we are a cost of about 50,000, 135, when you take out the average financial aid, we're closer to about 16.3, which is similar to a public university. In my admissions world, I talk about financial aid to students like yourselves all the time. But least last year it was personal. My two nephews applied to colleges, all public universities. And I said, I thought you were thinking of some private universities. Oh yeah, but Uncle Pete, too expensive. I said, apply. And they did. And they applied and they found that it was less expensive actually to go the private than it was the public. So try and put cost aside initially as you think about colleges, then apply for financial aid, see what the final cost is. For us, we offer scholarships up to $25,000 and they are merit-based. If you visit campus and apply before December 1, we have a visit incentive program, VIP, where you receive a $500 grant and uh, that would total to $2,000. Contact us. I am your admissions person, P. Lindsay at SBU, Pete Lindsay, P. Lindsay at SBU. And then you can see my cell phone as well. If at any point you would uh, have any questions. <clears throat> if you get up at two or three o'clock in the morning and have a question, don't call me then, okay? but contact me the next day, I'd be glad to. And you can see a lot of different opportunities uh, to connect with us as well. So that's what I uh, would like to share with you. And now I'd be glad to answer any questions that you may have. Mr. Lindsay, is there a deadline to be considered for merit scholarships? There is not. My recommendation for applying for admission and my recommendation for applying for financial aid is basically the same. Early is better than late. Funds are not unlimited. So uh, again, we recommend students try and get applications in for admissions and also financial aid uh, before Thanksgiving, if at all possible. Uh, Mr. Lindsay, if so, for our for many students, you know, across the country. Um, just being in this current COVID environment has been difficult. It's been difficult and stressful in terms of student scheduling and not getting the classes they wanted. And just obviously with standardized testing and many different things that have been obstacles and challenges for them. Is there anywhere within your application that students, if they would like to, can talk about that or some of the maybe obstacles that they might have that could potentially have impacted their application? Absolutely, that's such a good question. There's a saying in life that sometimes it's not what you accomplish in life, it's what you overcome. And for all of you students out there, I know that you're trying to overcome a great deal. Family situations, health situations, navigating a brand new educational concept as well. So by all means, be your own advocate. Let us know if something has uh, impacted your education and your performance 
one of the advantages of being at a university of 2,500 students is that we really handle applications and any extenuating circumstances on a very personal basis. So don't be afraid to um, let us know if there are any extenuating circumstances. Well, I, I might like to, I'd like to just address a little bit about COVID as well, since it's an important topic. Um, in the spring, when New York City was the epicenter, we had to remind students that St. Bonaventure University is six and a half hours away from New York State. We are bounded by two small college towns on either side of the university, back up to the Allegheny foothills, and we're a, we're a, a university of 2,500 students. All of that is to say that we're about as safe a place as you can get right now. And also New York State currently is one of the best states to be in um, regarding uh, COVID. We are right now open, students are on campus. We've had one case that has tested positive. We've also taken it so seriously that if students don't subscribe to some of the regulations for large group gatherings, uh, they're suspended from campus but can continue on as students. So um, that happened to, to one group. We take it very seriously and we're very proud of what we've been able to do to be a safe place. Thank you so much for sharing that, Mr. Lindsay. I think, you know, just kind of knowing what schools are doing today and, and certainly in the times we're in, that's very helpful information for students and families and parents to know. Um, well, with that, uh, this does conclude our visit for today. Mr. Lindsay, we do really want to thank you for sharing this information uh, with us, with our, with us, with our families, um, students. Um, you have been great in terms of keeping in touch with us as school counselors, and, and we appreciate that as well, and we want you to know that. Well, thank you. My pleasure. Anytime I can talk about my alma mater, I can talk forever. Um, Keep in mind as students, I'm always available. Again, if you have a question at two or three in the morning, don't call me then, but call me the next day. Thank you so much. Okay. Take, take care and be well. Thank you, Mr. Lindsay. You're welcome. Thank you. Everybody have a great day. Thank you so much. We'll be keeping in touch. Bye-bye.